everyone, I'm Mr. Cookie, and I've been contracted today by CookiesCreations.com to show you just how easy it is to use the Sock Easy. In fact, it is so easy that, hey, even a man can do it. And I have absolutely no idea how to use these sewing machines. But today, I'm going to show you how easy it is to use the Sock Easy. Now, by the way, the Sock Easy makes wonderful and attractive socks that you see right here. They make terrific baby gifts, uh, gifts for your friends. Even though they may have an embroidery machine, they may not yet own one of these, one of these wonderful Sock Easy units. So you can be the first one to demonstrate how beautiful the products that these things produce. So anyhow, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we're going to do is start with the sticky paper and the hoops. Now, we've already gone ahead and put the sticky paper inside the hoops, but it's important that you remove the covering that covers the sticky side of the sticky paper. So what I like to do is use a pin just like this. And I'm going to go ahead and score all the way around the sticky paper, just like you see here. You want to make sure that you don't penetrate, obviously, all the way through. Okay, and that should do it. Once you scored it all around, we're then going to go ahead and peel it off like so. We now have the sticky side exposed, ready to receive the Sock Easy unit. Now, let's go ahead and get the Sock Easy uh, unit prepared with the sock. Today, we're going to demonstrate on a cuffed sock just like this. And to begin, we're going to use that same pin that we used to score the sticky paper, and we're going to insert it into the cuff of the sock just like this. Now, it's important to know that the way you put the pin in the sock is remembering that the top of the pin is where the top of the design begins. Let me repeat. The top of the pin is where the top of the design begins. Okay? So it should look just like this. Now, we'll go ahead and fold this back over like so and lay it on the table with the pin side down, just like so. We're now going to take the Sock Easy unit. It should look just like this, this orientation and we're going to slide it in between the sock just like this. Now, the next step is to pull each end of the sock over the end of the Sock Easy hoop so that ultimately you should have something that looks like this. And you'll notice that the pin again is in the middle. Now, the next step is to place the Sock Easy onto the sticky paper just like so. Oh, there you go. Now, you may be wondering, well, Ron, it, it's upside down. <laughs> You're right, it is. But even I figured this one out because I've been told once you put this into your embroidery uh, machine, all you gotta do is rotate the design so that the top of the design appears at the top of the head of the pin. Remember, rotate it so the top of the design is at the top of the pin where the head is. It's that simple. Guys, even a man can do it. Now, remember one thing. Before you begin the design, remove the pin. That's it. Hope you have a wonderful time with this product. It's a lot of fun, and I want to hear great things of all the wonderful socks and embroidery designs that you created with the Sock Easy.